right, so another video here. In this one, we're going to be showing you how you can uh, send an SMS message from your application, whether that's uh, you're doing Node, you're, you're, I'm using GraphQL for this, so that's fine. Um, and I'm going to be having React Native on the front end, but you can do it from a, a simple React application as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over and sign up for Twilio. Now, Twilio is kind of nice because they give you a, a pretty generous free um, tier to test things out. So they give you about 15 bucks worth just to play with. Um, so go ahead and sign up for that. And we'll come up, I'll blur this stuff out, I guess. Um, but yeah, so you see your balance here. You're gonna wanna create a project and then you are gonna wanna come in and uh, claim a phone number. So it'll allow you to do that pretty easy. And then you'll see here, you have your account and your auth uh, token. And that's kind of all you need to go ahead and do this. So get all that information and then come over and I'll show you how we do this in our application. All right, so like I said, I'm using um, GraphQL for this on my back end. So I'm in here, I'm in my mutations uh, folder or file here. And the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is come over and require Twilio in. And then we are gonna call it with our um, account SID and our auth token here. So once you do that, we're gonna scroll down to our function here and we've just called this send phone code here. And I'm using TypeScript again here, but uh, again, uh, you don't need to do that. You can just use express or uh, whatever you fancy. So now the main part of this that you're gonna be looking in, I'm passing in a code and a phone number because we're gonna try to verify the phone number um, and we're gonna use a code to do that. So but the main thing you're gonna wanna look at here is this uh, thing here. So we're gonna pass in uh, where the message is coming from. So this is your Twilio phone number that I showed you uh, back there. And then who it's to. So this is the phone number you wanna send it to, whoever you're trying to verify. And then the body is the text that you wanna send along. So this is all you need to do um, in order to send the code on the back end. And then I'll just show you how the front end works for me too. All right, so like I said, uh, I'm just doing this with a React Native application here. So we're gonna try to verify a phone number. So I'm gonna type in uh, my phone number. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna see if that is verified. And now we just wait for uh, the text message to come in and it's come in here. So I can just switch over and just show you what that looks like on my phone here. All right, so hopefully you saw that there. And then uh, we can just see if we verified the code here by typing that in. So uh, let's go back here. You can see when I did that, uh, my submit here, this button here pops up because I'm just comparing those two things. So let's look at the front end here um, and just show you what I have to pass that along. So this is, I'm using Apollo here. So this is my mutation call right here. And I'm just sending the code along with the phone string. Um, and then, yeah, the input's pretty basic. Just an on change and setting the phone number and then we are passing in the code along, which I just create here by sending a random uh, four digit code. So as you can see, that was really straightforward, pretty easy to send uh, messages from your uh, app, whether that's just React, React Native, whatever it is, um, using Twilio. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.